I'm sitting down with Ambassador Agram to talk about the crisis in Kashmir and the danger it presents for the rest of the world. I'm Frank Uciardo, and this is TRT World One on One Express. Ambassador Munir Akram, thank you for joining us here at TRT World 101 Express. On August 5th of this year, we had India revoking the Article 370, and ever since then, there's been an inhuman lockdown on the Kashmir area and, of course, Jammu. Can you bring us up to date as to what is happening right now? Uh, it's been over 100 days uh, when the curfew and the lockdown of the Kashmiri people, especially in the Valley of Kashmir, has continued uh, without relent. Uh, people uh, are uh, cooped up in their houses. Uh, Indian forces uh, roam the streets. Uh, they have impunity to barge into any uh, house and home uh, and, and to capture or kidnap uh, young uh, young uh, boys uh, who are being taken away and tortured. Uh, estimated 13, 14,000 young boys have been abducted and uh, <coughs> tortured. And therefore, there is a, both a human rights crisis and a humanitarian crisis uh, which is happening. During the General Assembly, your Prime Minister warned that there could be a bloodbath between Pakistan and India. He, he was talking about a bloodbath in Kashmir because, as I said, we expect that uh, the Kashmiri people will rise up against uh, Indian rule whenever they are able to do so. And uh, the Indians are likely to repress that uh, ruthlessly and that could res result in a massacre. And, and that's, I think, the principal bloodbath. But also, there is, if, the, if there is, God forbid, a conflict between India and Pakistan, there is no telling. Once, once a major conflict starts and escalates, uh, we, will, we will not be the one to start it. We will not be the one to escalate it. But one, the world has to take into account that a war should never be fought between two nuclear weapon states. What is the political will within the Security Council which would have them take some kind of action. The Security Council itself uh, was approached by Pakistan to hold a meeting uh, with the support of China. A Security Council held an informal closed-door meeting on the 16th of, of August in which the issue was discussed. Uh, if and when the situation does uh, emerge as a threat to peace. I believe that that is when the Security Council will wake up. We are trying to make it wake up now, uh, but uh, you know the United Nations, you know the Security Council. Uh, until there is a crisis, uh, people are reluctant to act uh, uh, preemptively to prevent uh, crisis. But when push comes to shove, uh, it, is, it seems to be very difficult for the United Nations to uh, get its act together. How close are we to all-out war with India? The Indians have threatened uh, uh, war against us uh, repeatedly. They have uh, asserted the right to, or, or the possibility of conducting a limited war against Pakistan uh, under the so-called, quote, nuclear overhang, unquote. Uh, the Indian defense minister has spoken of, uh, nu of India's nuclear capabilities. Uh, the Indian foreign minister has said that they, will, they aim to take over uh, the Pakistani-administered Kashmir as well. And they have issued maps uh, which show the whole of Jammu and Kashmir, not only Indian-occupied Indian uh, territory, but also the Pakistani-administered part of Jammu and Kashmir as part of India proper, which means that this is a clear intention of aggression on the part of India. We cannot ignore it. We are ready for it. If they do take action, or do take any mil uh, resort to any military adventure, we will have to respond and we will respond effectively. Pakistan's ambassador to the UN, Munir Akram, thank you for joining us here on TRT World.